be the man. You gotta be the man. And I'm saying, woo, right here. Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today I'm drawing a new sketchbook vlog episode and it's a quiet place and a quiet place too will probably be uploaded tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. I like to procrastinate so any of you who've been following me for a while already know that. This drawing was made the day before watching the movie so uh i had no idea what i was getting myself into but let's get to it but 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 before we get started do me a favor like comment and subscribe to help me quit my job sooner so uh a quiet place was a movie everybody talked about in social media when it first came out oh my god the movie's so good oh my god it's like the best movie ever oh my god i love the quiet place oh my god so i was like you know what i'm not gonna watch it because i just didn't really care to go out of my way to watch it it starts some chick and Jim from The Office, who you might all know. Uh, I forgot his name. Completely, maybe like a John or a Ryan, something. I don't know. Anyways, Jim from The Office and their kids who live in the post-apocalyptic world where they are being hunted by giant creatures who hunt using sound. They are aliens and are like human animal looking things and react to sound and that's how they hunt. I love the movie and how it builds suspense. It has you wondering when something will happen or how something will happen. I also really enjoyed how the foreshadowing is used and even when you see it coming, you are at the edge of your seat waiting for something to happen. One of the movie scenes, uh, there's like a nail and the nail is a, shows on camera for like a second or two. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna definitely foreshadow what's gonna happen in the future. And it's just, even though I knew something was gonna happen with it, it just kind of has you wondering when or why it's gonna happen. And it's really cool. The movie is intense and can have you at the edge of your seat, just trying not to make any noise and ruin the movie with the people you're near, which is pretty funny how like you're making more noise at times in the actual movie. I like how they also use microphones near the actors touching stuff to amplify the noise and give it a cooler vibe to it. Like, let's say something, I don't know, like, I'm gonna give you an example right now. Uh, let's say somebody's walking and then they, like, I don't really have a pair of keys. Why would they have keys? I don't know, but it's just like, they're like. And you get the point. It's kind of like just taking footsteps and so on. So like that, they don't make as much noise. But the microphone's so close to them. That's, that's kind of like like the heartbeat and everything. Their breath and everything else is just an awesome, awesome scene. And just creative idea that they came up with. Overall, the movie was pretty solid. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the movie was enjoyable and I'll definitely watch it again. And before I end up the review, I almost forgot to mention. There's a deaf character, which is the daughter of uh, Jim and the chick. And yeah, it's kind of one of those things where they get a great idea and it just really, really works. So kind of we are, uh, us the audience are aware of everything going on. And then it just cuts off to her and it's complete silence because she's deaf. And then she's running, 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 running. And everybody's all panicking and stuff. Their heartbreak is going on. They're br breathing heavy. And all you hear is her just sprinting and you don't hear anything. Then there's a scene where there's one of the monster alien things that's right behind her and she's looking for something. And as she's looking, 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 there's a monster thing that appears and you as the audience is like, <gasps> and all you hear her is complete silence because, you know, she's dead. So yeah, overall, it was a really cool perspective to show from her end and only makes the audience more suspenseful. So it was a really good idea. My final rating for the movie is an 8.6 Kanye's out of 10. And I highly recommend you go watch part one if you haven't, and then part two review will be coming tomorrow the day after. That one will be more in depth, but overall both movies were great. So uh, once again, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.